Okay, folks, we're going to talk about labeling some of these parcels. Uh, the drawing I'm working in right now is called the Parcel Label Example. You can find that on the O drive. But uh, I've got a lot of parcels to label here. I want to do it quickly, so I'm going to use the Parcel Label tools that are built into Civil 3D. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Annotate tab on my ribbon, and then I'm going to go to the Add Labels section. So I find the feature that I want to label. In this case, it's Parcels, and I'm going to come and go Add Parcel Labels. That'll bring up my Parcel Label dialog box. Okay, so uh, there's my feature down here, parcels, and my label type I can label one at a time with single segment. If I want to do multiple segments, I can do that. In this case, I just want to do one segment at a time. I'm going to go single segment, and then it's broken up into two different sections, uh, lines and curves. So whenever I'm labeling lines, it's going to use a line label style of, in this case, overall bearing and distance. Okay. Uh, now, what you do want to do is stay away from using these general line label styles. Those are for just regular AutoCAD lines. Uh, they don't have as much uh, functionality. Use the option. Use the different styles that are listed under the parcels section down here. Okay. And the same thing goes for the curve. So whenever I go to label a curve, I want to use the th the uh, styles that are listed under the parcels section. In this case, I have only one. Okay, so when I click the Add button, uh, whenever I click a curve like this big arc here, it'll label a delta, length, and a radius. And uh, if I decide to pick a line, in the case, uh, this case, I'm using a length and a bearing. It looks like. Now, if I'm not uh, entirely happy with this, for instance, maybe I, for this label, uh, for my lines, I want to use an azimuth instead of a bearing, and maybe I don't want the uh, the L or the M. Uh, to uh, border my length. So what I'll do is I'll just come in and make a copy of that style real quick. So I'll go copy current selection and maybe what I'll do is I'll call this one uh, how about uh, distance over azimuth, something like that. And then in my layout tab I'm gonna make sure I pick my component. So here I've got distance and bearing. If I wanna change that name I can I don't have to it's not gonna affect things right but I'll just change it to dis distance and azimuth so I know what it means now under here I can uh, once you got your component name set you can go ahead and change text height color offset all that kind of stuff but mostly the content is probably where you want to be so in the content section I'm gonna click my editor uh, and remember everything inside the brackets uh, you should not uh, edit uh, manually, but if I have like this L out front, I want to get rid of that. I can do that easily, but just by removing that, and the same with the M. Okay, so when I click on the inside of this now, uh, I can go ahead and change up some of these options. So if I wanted to change my decimal precision, I could do that, uh, or what, any of these other parameters. Make sure you click your arrow button to confirm those settings. And the same thing goes with the uh, direction. So in this case, I did want to change my bearings to azimuth, so I'm just going to go ahead and set that to north azimuths, and maybe I'll change the precision to one whole second. Make sure you click your arrow button, and then say OK and then say OK again. And then now I can go ahead and label the lines with my new style that I've got set here. So I'm going to go Add. I'm going to set this new line. Now what I would like to do is maybe stack the uh, distance over top of the bearing or my azimuth. So again, what I'll do is I'll just go back here and tweak this up. Uh, I'll go Edit Current Selection. Make sure you set your component name. Come back into the content section here. And what I'll do is I'll just put my cursor in between the two and hit my enter key to kind of stack them on top of each other. And then I can say OK and then say apply. And notice that it changes there automatically and then from here you can go ahead and tweak up your offset. So if you wanted to change your offset you can play around with, in this case with the Y offset and kind of switch that up and make it look uh, you know something to your liking. So now I've got a good label style just for my uh, bearing and as. Uh, sorry, my azimuth and distance. You can do the same too for your curve style. So if you need to come in here and make some changes, maybe copy, maybe you want your uh, just your delta and radius over the, or sorry, delta and length over radius or something like that. It's just a matter of coming into these uh, label styles and making a copy of them and tweaking them up. So you could put something like, you know, maybe just delta and radius for this style. Okay, and in this case, I would come into my layout tab and uh, set my component so I've got distance and radius I just want a delta and radius so in, in this case maybe I'll just tweak up the name of it really quick something like that go back into my contents and uh, 
what I'll do is just get rid of the uh, length segment here like this. So now I'm just working with this uh, uh, azimuth. And then say OK. So I've got a radius and I've got a delta angle. So those are my two options there. And you can come and do a little preview if you like. And you can change your offsets and tweak that all up so that now you've got a brand new style. So if you ever wanted to use that, you can go ahead and click Add. Pick a curve, any curve will do, and it'll plop that on there. So, uh, you know, you might want to go back in and keep tweaking that up till you get it looking something to your liking. You know, maybe you need to add another space in there, something like that, to give it a bit more uh, clarity in your design, or however you want to do it. Now, so there's some other things you can do with your shortcut menus. Just real quick here, if you click the label, uh, you can get into the edit uh, the label editor this way. Um, notice you've got a flip label. So in this case, if I wanted my delta on the bottom and my uh, my uh, uh, radius on the top, I can go ahead and select that label, right click and go flip and it, and it reverses it and you can flip it back and forth if you want. Notice that the direction uh, of these uh, lines are in a certain bearing. So in this case, uh, as an example, this azimuth here is 182.17. If I wanted to measure it the opposite way, I can go ahead and select that and go reverse label and it'll give me the back azimuth of that line. So those right click menus are really handy. You can also reset the label back to the default if you want. Uh, there's all kinds of different options, but it's mostly just uh, you know coming through your parcel uh, segment uh, label editor and uh, tweaking up those different styles to your liking, and make as many as you like, and uh, you'll be much better off, and the labeling will go exponentially faster. All right, well thanks a lot for listening. Uh, take it easy. Bye.